The Russian government has accused Ukraine of being responsible for the explosions on the Crimean Bridge, also known as the Kerch Bridge, suggesting the involvement of the US and UK, although Kiev has not officially claimed responsibility. The Kerch Bridge, which opened in 2018, serves as a crucial road and rail connection between Russia and Crimea, a Ukrainian territory occupied by Russian forces since 2014. Russia's transport ministry stated that the supports of the bridge were undamaged. Investigations are ongoing, but unverified reports indicate that explosions were heard early on Monday. This is the second major incident on the Kerch Bridge in the past year. In October 2022, the bridge, which plays a vital role as a supply route, was partially closed due to a significant explosion. It was fully reopened in February. According to Vyacheslav Gladkov, the governor of the Belgorod region in western Russia, two individuals, the parents of a young girl, lost their lives in the incident, which he described as an emergency without providing further details. Pictures shared by the spokesperson for the Odessa military administration showed debris on the bridge's road and damaged railings. Grey Zone, a Russian telegram channel associated with the Wagner Group, speculated that the bridge might have been damaged by an underwater drone launched by Ukraine. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov confirmed that President Vladimir Putin had been informed about the attack. He emphasized that there was no connection between the incident and Russia's decision to suspend its participation in a United Nations brokered agreement allowing Ukraine to export grain through the Black Sea. Maria Zakharova the spokeswoman for the Russian Foreign Ministry, accused Ukraine of launching the attack on the Kerch Bridge with the direct involvement of the UK and the US. However, no evidence was provided to support these claims. An anonymous source within Ukraine's intelligence service, the SBU, reportedly told the BBC's Russian service that they were responsible for the attack, carried out in collaboration with the Navy Special Forces. While Ukrainian media also reported that sources within the SBU claimed responsibility for the attack in off-the-record briefings, the Ukrainian security services did not openly admit their involvement in a subsequent statement. They hinted at Kiev's role, stating that all details regarding the explosion would be disclosed after victory. It is customary for the Ukrainian government to provide vague statements rather than claiming direct responsibility. Last October, the same bridge in Crimea was targeted, but it was only this month that a Ukrainian defense official acknowledged Ukrainian involvement. However, the claims cannot be independently verified by the BBC. Andriy Yusov, a spokesperson for Ukrainian intelligence, referred to the bridge as an unnecessary structure. He suggested that any logistical challenges faced by Russia could provide potential advantages for the Ukrainian defense forces. Natalia Humeniuk, a spokesperson for Ukraine's Southern Military Command, speculated that the incident might be a provocation orchestrated by Moscow. Sergei Aksionov, the head of the Russian administration in Crimea, informed the public through telegram that traffic on the Crimean bridge had been halted due to an emergency near the 145th support on the Russian side. Measures were being taken to resolve the situation, and he advised residents and visitors to avoid using the bridge and opt for alternative land routes for security reasons. The ferry crossing parallel to the bridge was reported to be closed, as mentioned by BBC Russia, while Russia's state media agency TASS quoted the local rail operator stating that train traffic might be affected.